What's going on guys? Finally, finally I know. It's like April. I've been getting messages on messages on YouTube, DMs, posts on Instagram, Facebook, emails. What am I going to do with a 2020 arsenal? Well, here it is. Moving baits. Vertical baits. My Lone Star Mega Bass ride. Going to go through them. Rides. The reel. The line. Where I typically throw them. I might split this up into two videos. One for moving baits, horizontal stuff, and then one for vertical stuff, just because it might take forever to get to all the cool-ish I've got. So let's get this started. This is a Champion XP805 CB Glass. And the uh, Mega Bass M Ito, Yuki Ito Edition, round reel. This is my cranking reel. It's a five, seven to one gear ratio with the Bass Art handle. It is the pink orange machine. It's small, I haven't put line on it yet because I'm not deep cranking. Um, it fits my hand really, really well. Awesome, awesome combo here. Um, just for your dual 20As, 15As, 6XD, 8XD, 10XDs. Um, it'll pretty much handle what you need uh, within relativity. Uh, if you want to go 10XD, you might want to step up to the 806, but that is my deep cranking combo. Next up is the ever popular Champion 795 swim bait rod. This is my A rig swim bait rod, um, glide baits, heavy HUD, stuff like that. I mean, I, I don't use it a ton. I, I throw swim baits more than I have. Um, this is a Daiwa Zillion HLC, 6 3 to 1 gear ratio, 25 pound. I think this is Seaguar uh, Invisex or Brazex. Um, I went away from braid just because I was snapping a rigs in the air with wind knots. Um, awesome rod. The Fury 795 is probably one of the most popular uh, swim bait rods. But this rod right here gets it done, and I've had it for a while. Um, it feels great. It's just an awesome rod. But that is my swim bait combo. Next up is the Champion XP 705 CB. This is a pretty versatile rod. As you can see right now, I've got a popper tied on. Um, just one of my custom painted poppers. This is a custom Daiwa SSSV in a kick-ass freaking red ice color with black on it. Carbon handle, bastard die knobs. Um, this is J-Braid. This is like 20 pound J-Braid. Um, I also throw like dual walkers. Poppers, deep jerk baits. I'll swap out the reel with another reel that I've got. Um, but right now we're getting into top water season, so this is going to get used a ton here in the next couple weeks. Uh, awesome, awesome. U40 cork. As you can see, some of my rods have the uh, plastic on them because I just got them. And I haven't had time to mess with them with the cork. But that is my top water combo. Killer, killer combo. The reel is awesome. Next up is the Jerkbait Machine. This is a 704 CB paired with a Daiwa Steez SV from Japan. You will see a ton of Steez variation, SSSV variations in my lineup because they are some of the best reels made. Uh, this is 6 3 to 1 gear ratio, and that previous reel was a 7 to 1 gear ratio reel. Um, this is 8 or 10 pound Seaguar Invisex, I'm pretty sure. Throwing a uh, 78DD jerkbait. These right here, bait sacks, awesome. Uh, keeps your bait from getting hung or clipping onto your rod or reel. Plastics on it. 704CB. I pretty much only use it for jerkbaits, small crankbaits, traps, and uh, little poppers as well. But right now, I need to take the jerk bait off because we are done with jerk baiting. This is an old OG. This is a champion. This is a normal champion, non XP. I've had this rod for a very, very long time. It is paired with a Daiwa TDZ Eyes 5, 7 to 1 gear ratio. Bass Art handle. Um, these are Steez knobs. Awesome freaking cranking combo. Um, this is primarily my square bill combo. It is an old champion. There's something about this rod. Um, 
my partner and I won a boat. I pretty much cranked for two days and had nine of the 10 keepers throwing my square bill on this combo. So it's hard for me to give it up. It is an awesome, awesome rod. Um, it's a little worn in, so it's got a little bit more flex, but it's, it's a beast. It still has the backbone to it. Five, seven to one gear ratio. Uh, I'm a fast cranker, so I like to mechanically slow myself down. So when I'm burning uh, square bills, I can just slow my crank down. Awesome combo. Now we're getting into the meat. This is a Champion 736 XP. This is my frogging combo. Pretty much all I use it for is frogging. It is the frogging rod paired with a Daiwa Zillion HLC. I swapped out the 6 3 to 1 gear ratio to a 7 3 to 1. Uh, 65 pound Seaguar uh, Smackdown. Throwing a. I think this is a Nori's NF60 Frog, awesome frog. This combo is incredible. Um, I had another reel paired with this rod. It did an awesome job as well, but this thing is just a tank. The OG Zillions are some of the best reels ever made from Daiwa. Carbon handle, I mean, this thing is a beast. It's got enough meat on it, as you can tell. I haven't used it yet because we haven't been frogging yet because our water is still not there yet. I might be frogging on Wednesday or Thursday if we go out. Um, but this is my heavy duty frogging rod. This is heavy cover, heavy frogs, thick lily pads, thick mats. This is the frog combo. I've got another one. This is a 755. This is a old, old, old prototype from about 10 years ago maybe. Um, if you guys are Long time followers of Dobbins, they were going to come out with a really high end line before the Ecstasies even came out. This was one of the prototypes. Um, this is a five power, perfect. It's probably like a four, four and a half power rod. And I'm using it for small frogs. This is a Jack of Kahara. This is a 50 pound braid. And this is my notorious Pixie Type R. Been frogging with this reel for probably 10 years as well. Um, Awesome, awesome light frog combo. Open water, skipping, um, light, you know, cover, more open water on rock and stuff like that. This is my other frog combo, which I hope to use soon because it is an absolute blast to throw a tiny little reel. Everybody thinks I'm nuts. So these are, this is one of two. This is the Dobbins Caden. This is a 714 Caden paired with a very, very used Daiwa TDZ Type R Plus. This is a five, seven to one gear ratio. I am throwing my uh, signature wake baits on here. I will probably also throw uh, maybe heavy chatter baits or heavy spinner baits on as well. This is 15 pound mono. This is Lake Fork Power Silk, I think. Um, new Cadence came out. He did a trial run with these. He uh, didn't have the time to test them all at, so he had a hundred of each model, 714, 713, and a bunch of other ones. Um, he only had a hundred, I think it was 12 or 1500 total. They sold out in a very, very short time. They're not in production as of now. Hopefully they will be. Um, this is kind of in between the Sierra and the uh, Champion XPs. Awesome rods. Um, so far, I haven't had a ton of time with them because this bite isn't hitting and I haven't had it on that bite as well. But probably in the next week or two, the bite for both of these rods is going to pick up. But this is the Dabin Caden 714. Awesome cosmetic rod, unsainted blank, um, which I actually don't mind and I don't know what people are talking about cutting their line or anything. That's the 714. This is the 713. Paired with the machine Daiwa Steez A six three to one Bass Art handle ZPI bearings on the knobs, um, the pink SLP knobs. This reel is smooth as butter. I love the Steez platform. This is one of their best reels ever made. This is the seven one three. I am throwing the uh, bladed jigs, Omega Rapture, etc., etc. Um, spinner baits as well, half ounce spinner baits. This is also, this is 20 pound Seaguar Invisex. 
Uh, this combo is an absolute blast to throw. It's a little dusty from yesterday. Smooth, this reel is incredible. Um, this combo is a blast to throw. But again, the Caden, not out yet. Hopefully they will be uh, available to the public soon. That is an awesome combo. Spinnerbait, Cheddarbait rod. I try to keep as many of those as I can. The other one, this is a Sierra 703 Micro. This is throwing my spinnerbaits currently with a Daiwa Steez A, 6-3 to 1. ZPI handle, knob bearings, bokas, pretty much a bokas and ZPIs and all my reels. This is the Sierra 703. I pretty much only throw spinnerbaits with this combo and I throw chatterbaits with that combo. Um, as much as I'm testing baits and designing baits for Omega, I like to have just combos out so I don't have to keep retying. I can just pick them up, pull them out of the, uh, the rod locker and I'm good to go. That is the Micro 703. This is my last horizontal slash vertical rod. This is a Dobbins Ecstasy 724. Currently, it has a swim bait on it. This is an XO swim with the Omega head. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's overkill. Daiwa Steez SVTW, ZPI handle, um, upgraded bearings, all that jazz, all the cool stuff. Um, it's overkill for swim baits. You don't need a super sensitive rod for swim baits because they whack it. But I also throw tubes when I go up north for smallmouth. I'll throw big tubes on it. I'll throw a lighter jigs on this ride. So once the swim bait bike dies, I get rid of it, cut them off, and I will put small jigs on it. Quarter ounce jigs, three eighth ounce jigs. This rod is freaking incredible. This whole combo is extremely light, very well balanced. Um, just the pinnacle of what Dobbins offers right now. But this was the rod that was supposed to be made 10 years ago, the prototype. But this rod is awesome. Um, Ecstasy 724 Steez SVTW. That ends all my moving baits. Um, those are what I currently are using right now for moving baits. Now we're gonna move on to my vertical stuff. I don't have as many because I only throw like jigs, jigs, and jigs, and texture. So starting off, 735 Champion XP. Daiwa Steez SV. This is a eight one to one gear ratio. This is a ZPI handle. Upgraded bearings, painted the knobs, um, tricked it out. But I only throw Texas rigs on this one, and if I have to, I will swap it for another reel, and I will throw frogs on it if I need to. But this is throwing like my quarters, my three eighths, my half ounce beavers, pitching all that kind of stuff. This is gonna be Texas rig um, worms. You know, when, once the big worm bite comes out, plastic. I haven't really used it much. This will be getting converted into the big worm ride as well. Awesome combo. Um, it's a fun combo to use. I just haven't used a ton of it. A lot of this stuff is just dusty from fishing the last couple weeks or bringing them to the uh, lakes. But that is the 735 Steve SV US version. That is the 8 1 to 1. Awesome combo. Pick it up high, high line. Now, this is my B stick. This is the Dobbins DX746 HP with a, another Dio Westies A. This is a 7 1 to 1 Steez A. Cork knobs, ZPI handle again, upgraded bearings, spool bearings, polished, everything. Throwing my big, big jigs. This is throwing my 7 8 jigs, my 1 ounce jigs. This will throw giant mag. Um, Texas rigs, throw that over there because that was a tiny little bait. Throwing the, the mag stuff, 746, this is primarily my big jig rod, especially when I go north and I fish for uh, big small mouth, big large mouth from the grass. I can rip them out of the grass. Um, if I'm flipping docks up north, there's a lot of those muscles. I will convert this into the big Texas rig 
jig rod, um, but it is a freaking machine. It is an awesome combo to throw. That Steeze is incredible because it is smooth, ton of power, and it's fast enough what I need it for. Next up is the Champ the Extreme. This is a 702. I haven't even put line on it yet, which I'm gonna do probably today or tomorrow. Um, 702, this is a SSSV uh, 8 one to one with a uh, Steve's limited spool, it's a little shallower spool because I'm gonna put in probably 10 or 12 pound line on it so I don't need a deep spool. It's got a eyes carbon handle, upgraded bearings, um, eight one to one line pickup. This is gonna be primarily used for heavy neds, shaky head, heavy drop shot, lighter tubes. Um, we go north of fish, small mouth on Lake St. Clair, Sturgeon Bay, all that. I will be using this as my go-to tube jig drop shot Ned Rig rod. <clears throat> but I'm gonna load it up right now probably for Ned Rig or uh, the shaky head, just because that time of the year. But this was one of the reels I was using for my frogging. Um, I just wanted that zillion HLC back on my ride again, because it's a little bit more rigid. All right, now we're going to my two finesse rods that Dobbins no longer makes, and everybody hates that I have them. This is the Dobbins Extreme DX701C Finesse. This is a 16th to 3 8 light, fast action. Paired with a Daiwa Elphis Airstream, four pound line. This is the Ned Rig Rod. Awesome freaking combo. I found this one mint and got a good deal on it, so I swooped it up because I needed another one. Um, killer Rods. This is pretty much just Ned Machine. This is a seven one to one or seven two to one gear ratio. So it's got a fast enough pickup for the vertical stuff. You know, light jigs, Ned Rig, drop shot. Awesome combo, it is an absolute blast. I've fought multiple sixes and tons of five pound smallies and largemouth on this combo. It is incredible. Enough to where I bought, have another one. This is my original one. This is paired up with a Pixie SPR, Bass Art Handle, upgraded, not bearings. Um, I've had this rod for, God, man, it's gotta be 10 or 12 years. Um, this is one of the original uh, second gen extremes. This is before the HP extremes came out, all that kind of stuff. So I've had this rod. This rod has caught thousands and thousands of smallmouth. Um, it's probably one of my main rods I throw like little traps on and Ned rigs and tiny little jigs. Pretty much what I've used to catch hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of smallmouth on. It is incredible. Um, it still is one of my most prized favorite rods to throw. It is awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Next up is my jig rods. My main jig rods. This is a Ecstasy 755 Steez Limited, eight one to one gear ratio, carbon handle, bearing upgrades, all that kind of stuff. This is my main rod. This is 25 pound Seaguar Brazex. Pretty much throwing half ounce jigs mainly, flipping, pitching, skipping, um, everything that I can. This is one of my real combos that I use a ton. Um, I use it a ton. I use it a ton throughout the year, pretty much from March until November, December. This combo gets just used and uh, I love it. The, I mean, the, the XTC is incredible. They make a great ride. So that's number one. This is the second one. This is a uh, 755 with another Steez Limited carbon handle. ZPI spool. This has got 20 pound line. This is more of my uh, open water. This is like football heads. This is gonna be lighter jigs that I can do open water. Um, this is not a Brazex. This is, I think, Lake Fork 400 Pro. Um, it's still another great open water rod. It doubles as a killer football, half ounce to three quarter ounce. Daiwa Steez Limited. Can't have enough of these. That's why I've got three of them. This one is another old OG prototype ride. This is a 794. This right here is a killer football jig rod. Um, I will probably be start spooling this up. This is another Daiwa Steez or SSSV. This is a with a uh, RCS 90 carbon handle, seven one to one gear ratio, upgraded bearings, polished, all that jazz. 
Um, pretty much only use this for football jigs. It is extremely long. Um, it bombs football jigs. You can do the hook set and pick up all that line. It is an incredible ride. Um, I'm glad I have both of these just as they, uh, nobody else has them. But gonna drop probably 14 or 16 pound tattoo on this and uh, mainly use it for football jigs. That is these, these limited spool, a little bit shallower spool. Um, I might swap that out to a little bit deeper spool that I've got just for uh, making bomb cast, but it should be all right. Last but not least, this poor guy here. This is a Mega Bass Shiryu. This is a 6'6". Six -six. Um, it is spiral wrapped. It's got spiral guides on it. I had one before, probably 12 or 13 years ago. It was a 610. It was my go-to square bill ride. It was an incredible square bill ride. It was a e-glass ride. Um, I still use it for square bills. I'm gonna put a Steez Limited or Steez Namiki on here probably. And just use it just when I'm putzing around by myself. Um, I found it and I swooped it up because they're really, really hard to get because you can't find them anymore. Beautiful ride, awesome ride. Um, although it's not a diamonds, I know. But I just I just love the ride, so I had to get another one before uh, couldn't find them again. And that is it. I actually am waiting on one more ride, and it's the ex what is it? Uh, it's the Ecstasy 725. That ride was supposed to be here over a month ago, before the classic, before all that. And I'm gonna pair it with another Steez Limited. 8 one to one gear ratio. I've got it up in the shop in the display case. So I'm waiting for that ride to happen. And that's going to be my skipping ride. That's going to be my enclosed pitching and flipping ride. Um, so I can have multiple jig rides. But that is the arsenal of arsenal. Finally. And I can put them all back in the rod lockers and go fishing. So you guys smash that thumbs up. Hopefully you guys are having a safe... COVID-19, social distancing, whatever's going on here. Um, but that is my arsenal. Post down below. Smash the thumbs up. Subscribe. Share it. Hopefully you guys have a good one. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.